Yes, you saw everything in Joseki's base. And Joseki's still kind of in the dark. Yeah, he has actually not scouted anything of Kiwikaki's. He's completely in the dark. I would... I've seen a lot of early Reaper, just kind of scout Reapers, and I think he really needs that. He's so in the dark right now. Additional supply depots required. And we have the first Colossus out, the second one's got to be pretty close to done. And there's going to be Immortals coming too, so very... I'm not sure if you can call this mech. We're going to call it a very Robo build for Kiwi Kaki. His forward pylon is going to go down, so he's going to be supply blocked. And these Colossi take almost a full pylon on their own. But he's throwing down his third expansion, and Joseki fin throwing down barracks number 5 and 6, as well as a Ghost Academy. Combat Shield and Stim are being done. Uh, Marauders are finally being made, and some Medivacs. So we're, we're going to see a lot of Colossus versus Bio Army. Generally favorable for the Colossus. If you can have enough Zealots to defend. All the Marines are leaving, and all the bunkers are getting salvaged right here. We're going to see a nice timing push with Stim and Combat Shield just getting completed. Excuse me, Combat Shield is not quite completed. We have Terran Ar Infantry Armor, level 1. That's an interesting call right there. And Kiwi Kaki does see this coming. So here comes a push. What is that? <laughs> wow, that is so many Marines. Never mind. He decides, I'm going to take out my rocks and expand. Both players playing a very, very heavy macro game right now. And staying very even in income. Kiwi Kaki is only ahead by two harvesters right now. And here comes the push for Joseki. We should probably see a expansion coming up with this push. Here he sees a whole bunch of Colossus and he's like, no way, gotta get out of here. And these Colossus are just devastating to the bio ball that Joseki has. He's chasing them down. There's some nice cheap Colossus shots. Zero damage going to be taken for the Colossus. And these Colossus are getting a little over ambitious. A stim could take them all out right here. This is a... Alright, here's a stim, but... Kiwikaki with the extremely fast reaction time sees that, and he is going to take a Supply Depot down to very low HP. We do have one Medivac loaded up with Marauders. Here come the Colossus again. They're going to try and take out the Supply Depot. Supply Depot is burning. Supply Depot down, as is the Sensor Tower. These Colossus are doing some fierce work to Joseki's army. But he does have two Vikings, though. No more Vikings on the way, though. And we have a Stargate, as well as Ground Weapons Level 1 for Kiwi Kaki. These Colossus are just doing some work to Joseki. It's finally supply blocking him. We have food difference of... 144 to 168 though. These classes finally see the Vikings and are going to back up. This bio ball is completely it's out of control right now. My FPS is just unhappy with that bio ball. Joseki is throwing down the third expansion, making it a making it a planetary fortress, excuse me. Planetary fortress, I'm not sure on the range versus classes. I think the classes actually wins. But that's really not that big of a deal. And he has a floating factory, keeping an eye on the gold, as well as this nice SCV up here. I would rather see the SCV sitting on the watchtower, though. You get a lot more sight for very little loss. And we have some more Colossi being made. Phoenix is on their way out. Very, very nice macro game going on right now. Food of 163 to 200. Joseki is maxed, and he is pushing out right here. Joseki's going to be saturating his planetary fortress and just kind of scouting. Looks like he was going to want to attack this 3 o'clock expansion. Kiwikaki, of course, sees it all coming with the probe. Probe dies so fast. There were like nine marauders that shot him. And here he comes with his Colossus and a bunch of sentries and a couple phoenixes. The cannon got a few shots off, but it died very, very, very quickly. Let's take a peek what's going on in Joseki's main right now. He's almost mined out in his main. His natural is also almost mined out. And here comes the push. He's going for the stim. And Colossi are here. They're going to do so much damage. My FPS is just dying. Maybe I'll have to uh, 
change my graphics settings after this. The Colossi are doing so much damage, but they're completely unprotected now. All these, all these, uh, excuse me, Vikings are just doing so much damage to them. These Phoenix is unable to really do anything, and this Bio Ball is pretty much melted, but Kiwikaki has no army anymore. Finally gets Warp Gate 5 through 8 going, and yes, I will definitely have to work on my graphics settings. So this is not looking very good for Kiwikaki. He's going to lose his uh, first expo, his natural right there. And Joseki is able to bring in so many reinforcements here with this huge barracks army. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to use it, so I will definitely try and check. But this is, my FPS is like 15 constantly right now, and that's pretty not fun to watch. So we'll change it after this game, and you guys can just yell at me in the comments. Comment, rate, subscribe, obviously. Uh, here goes the se second Nexus, and the gold expansion only has two cannons there. Only two stacks of minerals for Kiwikaki to mine off of, and this is definitely going to be going to Joseki here. He's going to have a last stand here with a few Colossus, a couple Phoenixes, just a handful of things. And here comes the gold, the attack on the gold expansion by Joseki. Phoenix is out of position. He's cross-eyed doing a little bit of damage to the bio ball. But just like he's able to bring his army back so quickly. Food of 105 to 164. That was an excellent, excellent uh, EMP by the ghost. All these Vikings taking out the Colossi. And that is probably going to be it. We should see a GG here very, very shortly. The Vikings are actually landing to take out this expo faster. Cannon is down, and Kiwikaki does GG. So thank you guys for watching uh, with my next cast. I hope to make my video quality better. Um, I'll see you here shortly.